Hi Gary, welcome to the Mortgage Morning. Business Expo. Uh, first one I want to ask you, does, does the Institute of Financial Services think the Mortgage Market Review will introduce a requirement for advisors to hold a higher level qualification akin to the Retail Distribution Review in the financial advice market? Okay. Um, the FSA has acknowledged that the provision of advice in the mortgage market is less complex than in the investment market and therefore a QCF Level 3 qualification is appropriate. Okay. However, the aim of the MMR is also about raising professionalism and we expect that those who currently provide advice um, or sell mortgages on a non-advice basis will be required to attain the same level of qualification as those who provide advice. Mm -hmm. Um, I believe, therefore, that those who do provide advice um, will want to differentiate themselves and attaining a high level qualification, such as our Level 4 Diploma, is one way they can do that. Okay, I mean, what, what advantages, do, advantages do you see mortgage advisors getting from taking professional qualification? I think we all know that with knowledge comes confidence and credibility. Um, and the best way to demonstrate knowledge is attaining a, a nationally recognised qualification. I mean, you know, nobody in the right mind would allow a, an unqualified electrician, plumber or gas engineer to work in their home. And yet for most people, buying that home is the largest purchase they're ever going to make. And therefore they expect anybody involved in helping them with that purchase to be both knowledgeable and qualified. Okay, and what's the current demand for these professional qualifications? We're still, in, we're, we're still um, experiencing very strong demand for our Level 3 CMAP qualification, which, uh -huh. which is the industry benchmark, and around 80% of advisors hold that qualification. But we're also seeing an increasingly strong demand for the Level 4 diploma, which is approved by the FSA. Okay, I mean, are early adopters who attain, attain higher level qualification before the MMR is published at an advantage or disadvantage? I think one of the lessons we learned from the RDR was that those who started early um, were able to fill in any gaps in their knowledge compared to the final standards by completing a programme of structured CPD rather than taking further exams. And we would expect that to continue if, the, if, if a level four qualification were to be required under the MMR. Those, those who started early, um, obviously now in a position where they've either qualified or they're well on the way to becoming qualified, without the pressure, the added pressure, of having to achieve it against a challenging deadline. I think you know, the drive to raise levels of professionalism is not going to go away and most advisors now accept that if they want to be regarded as professionals that they claim to be, then they need to embrace the opportunity um, to demonstrate that professionalism and the best way to do that is through attaining a professional qualification. Okay, I mean, so, so where does the Institute of Financial Services fit into this and how can they help advisors bridge this, this skills gap? Okay. Well, the Level 3 CMAP is the benchmark qualification and as I say, we expect that to be the case for advisors who currently do not provide advice when selling a mortgage. So for those advisors who already hold that qualification, there is the opportunity now to differentiate themselves by attaining a higher level for diploma. Um, and just to put it into context, a level four diploma requires the same level of knowledge as that needed in a first year university degree program. Um, also, our dip map follows the same format as our hugely popular diploma for financial advisors. In fact, the first module is common to both and therefore mortgage advisors who want to make the transition to full financial advisors at a later date will actually have an accelerated route and that will help them further increase their level of professionalism and provide even greater consumer protection. Okay, thank Gary, thank you very much for your thank time. You. Thank you.